so nice to talk to you. You're everyone's favorite diabolical dad. Diabolical dad. Apparently, <laughs> yeah. No, it's fun. I mean, it's been it's been a lot of fun. I mean. Most of my career has been spent doing good guys, mm -hmm. and the reason that was true is when I first started acting, a lot of the characters that were out there were either you know um, drug dealers or pimps or boogeymen of one sort or the other, and I, and I thought to myself, someone will take that job, it just doesn't have to be me. That what I wanted to do was present a diversity of, of black characters that were not that. Now, after doing that for a long time, I then longed to do a bad guy, but I wanted to do one that had some substance. And no sooner did I wish for it, and literally, no sooner did I wish for it than this happened. Wow. So it's been uh, it's been a lot of fun. Awesome. So that's interesting that, because I'm a gladiator. I have to say I love stand-up. Okay. So that's interesting that you paint him as the bad guy, because just in this last season, we've got to see a different side of your character. And I'm even starting to say, well, is he a bad guy? How do you, what are your thoughts on that? Is he just a straight bad guy? Well, no. A straight bad guy, no. I don't think he's evil. Mm -hmm. um, I didn't think he was evil in the first place. But at the same time, uh, I think what happened was because it turns out that my wife might be more evil than I, <laughs> then people think, oh, well, he's not so bad. But, I, but at the same time, um, he, it's by all means necessary that he will do his job. Um, and as of this last episode that was aired, now there's a vendetta possibly in the air. So, so we'll have to see what he does. That's awesome. This year of 2013 has been a great year for black actors, directors, it has. producers, all that kind of stuff. How do you feel like that is going to lead into 2014? Do you see it continuing? Do you see the strength? The we'll strength? see. I mean, these cycles come and go. I mean, uh, when I did Brother from Another Planet, the same kind of thing was going on as when Spike Lee was around. And so there seemed to be a lot of talk about, oh, look, you know, black film is coming, coming up again. Um, so we'll have to wait and see. The, the, the biggest problem with black film, I think, is marketing. Mm -hmm. that, that part of the problem is that um, the majority of black films, especially this year, has all been basically slave films or integration films because that's what the major sort of studios know how to market. They know how to do that. Um, the smartest one in that group, and beautifully done, was 12 Years a Slave because what they did was that entire cast, mostly that cast, was mostly British, which meant they had a European fan base, which is where most American films make their money. So it was easy for them to do an American story but get a European fan base and get European marketing and then bring it here. Very, very, very smart. Um, but even further than that, what I'd like to see is a diversity of storytelling. I think that we have a lot more to offer um, in terms of what we've accomplished in, in, in this country other than um, slavery and integration. I mean, when Clint Eastwood, for instance, did the story a, a, about um, um, uh, Yardbird, um, that was great. I mean, it's, you know, jazz is, is part of our legacy. So I would like to see more of that. I would like to see more of, you know, the, the, the people, the black people who sort of went the, from the east to the west in, in covered wagons. I'd like to see a story about Bass Reeves, who was a, an amazing um, uh, lawman in the west. I would like to see, I mean, oh, there's all kinds of stories out yeah, there that, we, that, that you've never heard. Wow, and what kind of, who would you like to work with and who would you like to see bring out some of these different stories? Do you have anybody in mind? Oh, I don't know. I mean, any number of people. Uh, Clint Eastwood, I just mentioned mm -hmm. him. Um, I think for some of those stories he would be terrific. Yeah. Um, uh, Ron Howard would be terrific. Um, um, uh, uh, Steve McQueen, who just did, you know, yeah. would be lovely. Yeah. Um, and Spike did a lot of that. I mean, that's what put him on the map, was that the stories that he did were not necessarily just about integration. They were about black culture in themselves. Um, Crooklyn is probably, you know, a, a, a among a, a, one of those. Mm -hmm. So, any one of those guys, if, if, if they want to do it, sure. Awesome. Well, I won't keep you too long, but last thing, the NAACP has recognized you, yes. your show, your director. How do you feel about that? It's great. I mean, you know, to, to be on a show that is this popular um, and have the NAACP um, support it in the way that they have by nominating, as you say, the director and, and, and the writer and the, the show itself and, and, and me is, is just, it's, it's wonderful. It's amazing. It's, it's not... Again, it's not why I do what I do, but when it happens, it's it's wonderful. Absolutely. Well, we're so glad to thank you for talking to us. My pleasure. Thank you.